I'm now going to go back to Falcon and try once more to install it. So that's okay. okay so I once again create the build directory and rerun the CMake command and hopefully keeping my fingers very crossed yes it seems to have made a difference so for some reason those extra CMake files hadn't uh, installed um, or, or maybe not even being created and that's why they weren't installed okay so now I'm gonna make the build um, is there anything worth checking here so I think I had that warning before so this is the point where it failed just after this XCB part but it's not reporting about anything about the um, is it lib XKB common or something I think it was it's just gone straight onto open SSL so that's quite interesting so some more warnings there but it looks like it's found all the QT5 stuff so it says some following optional packages have not been found but they're all to do KDE frameworks and there's an optional dependency so they will be there when I come to rebuild this again um, after going through all the packages that do need rebuilds for dependencies okay so finally a make and I think this doesn't take too long 2.2 SBU so no it shouldn't take a great deal of time um, it's going quite quickly at the moment but uh, it's not really doing much I don't think it's certainly not compiling stuff so I imagine it will slow down eventually, but um, come back when it's completed.
Right, well that has finished compiling at last, and it only took 20 minutes, so carry on with the installation. Oh, there's some tests to run, so I'll run then. It does say that they should all pass, so I guess this will be a good test of the underlying libraries that we've installed with Qt. Okay, well we've got failure straight away. Um, that's a little bit worrying. But again, whether that's because of the recommended packages are not installed. Uh, I guess the ultimate test would be to install it and try it out. Let's try what it says there. Uh, with these options here. Um, all right then. I can't see any results. Oh, it actually says in the book, I just noticed. Testing temporary last test of log. Oh, how strange. It says that. Oh, right, okay, there's more. Okay, could not lo oh, right, okay, could not load the Qt platform plugin XCB, so it could be another case of having to run LD config and rerun the tests. No, it's still skipping them. So that's a bit strange. Um what I might try to do is look in the bin. There's an executable there called Falcon. I'm going to just try and run it uh, as it is. No sort of a graphics backend found. Failed to connect to session bus. So, okay, maybe that needs to be installed. Uh, so I'm going to try and do that and wish and hope that it will actually run. Okay, so that has now run. Let's try it as an installed program. Right, now what I'm going to do, because um, I haven't done this for a while, is to actually reboot uh, to ensure all the libraries will load and paths are correct. So I'm going to do that now. So I'm going to quit all of these. And control alt delete and reboot the machine. Oh, 
Right, so I've just got the chime, so it's starting up now. Should be something appearing on the screen any time. Okay. So I'll run it from this terminal, or I won't be running it permanently from this terminal. Okay, so is Dbus running? Dbus is not running, so that could be why that's not working. Um, did we install Dbus? Well, the source is there, so the next thing to do to prove that it is there is to look for the libraries or executable. So, then Control F, Dbus. There it is there. Go down the bottom and look for, for example, Dbus Daemon which is an executable. So dbus. Yep, there it is there. So what it looks like is that the startup script hasn't been installed for some reason. Uh, sudo make install dbus and it could be that I just installed this for the libraries that's a possibility so now I'm going to do sudo etc init dot d dbus start and that's started now in theory I should be able to oh what am I doing <laughs> Start Falcon, I don't know why tap, tap start access. I failed to connect to the session bus. Right, I'm not sure why that is happening. So uh, there's obviously something else wrong with this, so I'm going to have to reboot again just to make sure that dbus starts correctly. Okay, I've had to chime, so should we come up on the screen soon? Yep, there it is. And, uh, context. Right, okay, so there's obviously something still seriously wrong with this. Right, so Dbus is definitely running, so I don't know why it's coming up, failed to connect to session bus. So I'm going to research that and come back. Okay, so I've got a workaround that should work, um, and it is just a workaround until we get things fully installed, but it gets a browser up. Um, so what I've found is that there's uh, an environment variable called qt web engine underscore chromium underscore flags 
from type equals uh, double quotes minus minus disable GPU and then just run Falcon with that environment variable set and magically get a nice window appeared. Um, so I'm going to first of all go straight to the Linux from scratch. Uh, Linux from scratch org website to make sure connectivity works and yes luckily it is working at last um, I believe all the problems I've had getting this far is because I've been taking shortcuts not installing or basically just installing the bare minimum so this really is um, a system currently that's cobbled together so the first thing I shall be doing in the next video is to go through all of the packages that are partially installed, i.e. those ones that I've noted that I want to install more options which may include, well, will include recommended packages and get them all reinstalled with the recommendations um, so that the system is properly configured with the proper dependencies um, and then we'll be able to start building up um, decent graphical environment looking at the window managers and some of the bigger packages as well and finally getting a, a proper system up and running but yeah as you can see at the moment we've finally got this um, graphic browser it does mean that I can now copy and paste stuff so um, you know if I highlight that and paste it in there you can see it's it's worked it's obviously easier to read so if I go to the BLFS book uh, read online read the HTML, in fact I'll go to the errata to see if there's any changes there, no it's still the same so that's not a problem, uh, read online sorry and go straight to the book so yeah I'll be working from here opening up tabs and everything um, and really don't need to use the um, don't need to use the text environment anymore I can just work from this browser if I can set this now I can't remember if Falcon remembers its geometry or if I'll have to add Falcon into the startup um, but I, one thing I will do is to increase the font size just a little bit more maybe I don't want to make it too big. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it is working. Um, because the wrap around makes things hard to see. You can see there the title's already uh, a little bit out. So what I might do is actually alter the geometry, um, reduce this font maybe a little bit, and just shrink the screen down as well, um, just to allow myself to make this. Um, browser window just a little bit wider but I'll do that offline so in the next video when I start to rebuild the packages it will look slightly differently when I start sit different when I start it up but it will be a continuation of the build as it was so yeah in the next video as I say I'll be um, reinstalling all the packages and all the dependencies so it may be again many hours before we get into position where they're all installed but at least we'll know that any new stuff we install um, will have a reliable foundation from which to build upon.